Hello and welcome back to another Pokemon video. My name is Professor Joel and today we're at the midnight launch for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it's pretty intense there. We've been promoting our league over here. They're doing a raffle for a bunch of cool things to give away like gift cards and Pokemon card packs. Very neat. I'm going for Pokemon Sword, so I don't know what you guys are going for. Leave it as a comment down below. And uh, I'm going to use this as a little promotion trailer to say, hey, I'm going to be uh, live streaming uh, the new Pokemon Sword and Shield games for the next three days, and then like an hour each night afterwards. Uh, probably from uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon to let's say about, say, 9 p.m.? Yeah, well, we'll figure this out. Uh, but I was going to do a little let's play through of it, because it'd be fun to do that. Um, my Twitch channel is... Uh, Sorry, Joel1007, so come check that out, link in the description there, and uh, yeah, come tell me, uh, come play some games with us there, have some fun. But uh, yeah, my uh, link will be in the description, and I'm picking Grookey, I don't know what you guys are going for, maybe put down which uh, starter you're going for, Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang. Oh, that's nice one. One, eight, three, one, four, six. Oh, so close. We're going to pick up my coffee. Well, what do you think so far? Ah, I'm enjoying it. This is my first midnight launch. I like it a lot there. What's your name? My name is Joel. I'm the Pokemon Professor. Uh, oh, there you go. Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. Pleasure. Hopefully you can come by our club sometime there and uh... Yeah, I, well, I remember you coming through and doing that. Yeah, yeah. you got the card on me. Yeah. You know what, you're going to laugh at but I think uh... It's I it's you have one of the old ones maybe? I think so. Yeah, oh, let's take a look. Yeah. One of my buddies gave it to me. Yeah. I don't know if I still have it. I might have gotten rid of it. I don't oh. know because it was old, eh? Let's see. Yeah, I think it went... It, what happened was it got too old and it started yeah, yeah. to deteriorate. Makes sense. Number three. Number four. We're five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's where I remember uh, it from. Uh, yeah, I got you. I had one of the originals. Are you streaming? Uh, not quite. I'm going to be making a little video after. But oh, okay, like, sorry. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a good. Try not to get anybody's face or anything there. Just uh, This will be cut. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a streamer. <laughs> so, I do. Northern, Northern Pokemon Trainers on uh, YouTube there. Trying to build a little online thing oh, with yeah. that. I'll subscribe. Thanks. We're almost at 100. Or uh, like 87, but you know, almost there. There you go. Do a little giveaway when we hit 100. There you go. Yep. Number yep. five. Yep. Oh, there. I'm number five. Number five. Yep. Nice, nice business cards. Pokemon <laughs> Sword. It used to be a good old katana weed back in the day. Ah, oh, there you go. That's cool. Go for like the steel book. Yeah, I know money's tight there, but not one copy's fine. I'll trade for what I need there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm okay. good. Later, buddy. My game. Ooh la la. Is that store at me? That's the store at me. Yeah. There you go. I mean, he did. I got sword doggo here. Steel. Can we see that? We got there. Oh, he's got steel under Henry. He can hold it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. cool. I saw you give him the banner. Yeah, that's a neat banner. That's cool. All right, and we're all set. Oh, we're good. Hey, Justin, Sponsor. if you ever, if you see any more of these afterwards, just saying, me, uh, we could use one of the club of oh, the Pokemon leagues. Just, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. yeah. If there's any extras, I'll let you. Groovy. Right. So that'd be kind of neat to have one of those like, pinned up. They didn't give us a quantity count, so I don't know how many yeah. there is. Oh no, I uh, it, man. Okay, cool. Take it, hang it there. That's gonna go in the Pokemon Club at uh, Jump City. Thank you. That's the one you gave me, and that's the one from just Looks like it might be like a cloth material uh, in there. Yeah, yeah, it's like a felt. felt. So yeah, very cool, thank you. Give me 30 seconds. I just want a steel book. I see. No, my wife's with me. There's a steel book in there? Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Oh, I need that one. Okay, so there you go. Then you get that one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, can I just see that for a second? You're gonna do a little. Oh, I want to see it. Yeah, I want, I want to see it, like a little unboxing there. Let's take a look. There we go. So you got your two copies there. Okay, cool. Ooh, 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 there's codes. There's sword. Oh, okay, there's keep those hidden. Sword and shield. Yeah, yeah. very neat. Oh, let's see the artwork on that actually. One second there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the. That's the pretty thing. Resistance. Take a look yeah. at that. 
That yeah. is nice. The that gold, is I loved real. It. When I saw it online, I was like, I have to have this. Dude, dude that's really cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll head out. Yeah. Yep. Numbers yeah. <laughs> People want their games. We're holding up. I'm bad, yeah. professor. Sorry. Yeah, but no, that's a really sharp looking uh, steel book there. I love it. That's the whole reason why I wanted it. Yeah. That's it. Like, I, I, two games is too sharp for me, but like, a part of me is like, I should really try to find one of those on eBay, hopefully, for well, a I little bet cheaper than eBay. Yeah, they won't be. Hi there. Oh, almost tripped there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my sword! Uh, what you call it there? We're gonna we're, we're gonna put this up in the, the club there. Okay. Someone gave it to me there. So, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's the map. I see. I see. Yeah, that gold case looks sweet. He showed me his gold oh, case. Super sweet. If you want to check it out, oh yeah, have it. yeah. Yeah, it's really sweet. That that's thing. nice. So that ends the uh, midnight launch for Pokemon Sword and Shield. There, I got my stuff there, all packed up for my little league thing, and we'll be heading out there. Come check us out on Twitch there, and uh, our YouTube channel, Northern Pokemon Trainers, and uh, thanks for watching there. So, we just got back from the midnight release, I ended up picking up myself a copy of Pokemon Sword. Uh, when I was younger, I had a bunch of, well I still actually have them to this day, a bunch of katanas and stuff. They weren't real katanas, but they were cool. I was a fan of swords and Japanese uh, things there, so I ended up getting myself some swords when I was younger. Anyways, Pokemon Sword was my jam, or is my jam, so yeah, we got the cool little wolf doggo thing with the sword in its mouth right here. From the lore, from what I can tell, is, is that this is a fairy type. It might also be a metal type Pokemon. It seems to say in the lore, at least one of the leaked Pokedex entries, is that it can materialize metal out of thin air and just like pull iron atoms and gold atoms and whatnot from the air and it just fabricates it into a sword in its mouth. Uh, also, it appears to be a crown and maybe some kind of weird wing-like structure here. But yeah, very cool. I ended up going for sword. I'm gonna crack into that. This is the first time in about, I'm gonna say eight years that I got a game on release day. This is my very first pre-release, so it was a lot of fun there. It was nice to promote the club there. I ended up showing it off to about maybe 150 people. You got ourselves some uh, wrapper to pull off here, so it's always a nice sensation to open up a fresh package or something, or peel off a label. There you go, a little off the bottom here. We ended up picking up this Galar collection box featuring Grookey. Hello, Grookey Yang. I wonder if there's any uh, materials in here, actually. I've never... It's been a while. Nope. Just a Switch cartridge. This is my uh, very first Switch game that I purchased brand new and, like, from a store. I got a few of a nice little deal that I got on my Switch. Or if it tastes funny, it probably does, because that's what they're doing that. What do you have here? A wild new adventure with Pokemon uh, you can battle to be the best. Very cool. Uh, carve a path to the future, brand together in this new co-op battles. Oh, that'd be cool. That's kind of neat. Uh, maybe they can allow you to pick up more trainers, or I mean, fellow players to beat some battles. I think that was one of the mechanics there, is like one to four people. All right, very neat. Anyways, we got ourselves one of these games there. I'm gonna set it aside. Everybody's gonna see that. I will be live streaming Pokemon Sword over the next couple of days, and probably an hour each night after work. Uh, yeah, so come check that out. My, uh, Twitch link is in the description below. It's Joel1007, or Joel1007. Uh, yep. I'm gonna try uploading the videos to YouTube too, so that'll be good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a little other promotional things before we check out uh, the stuff. Uh, check out your local leagues, people. We give away sorry, awesome cards like these netballs. Uh, these are the promos that we're giving out to anybody who comes to league. You come to league, you can get one of these each week, so you can get a total of four. Also, we have these things called league cups. As you can see up here in the corner, it says league cup, and there's these league cup promos, okay? Now, I being the judge, I get a copy of these. They're called staff promos here. So mine's a little special, I'm just gonna crack one open. But uh, yeah, these are very useful cards. Um, Cherish Balls, these are alternate arts, and they, ju they just came out. So these are gonna be staying in standard, in the current format, for like about two years, their okay? Uh They're very valuable cards, I think. Uh, at least the staff one usually goes for about twice the value of a regular one. And uh, yeah, these are kind of cool. Uh, I get myself a few staff ones. I wish I could have got a fourth one, but our attendance was a little low last month. But yeah, we end up getting some really cool cards to give away. There's also some code cards, but those have to be given to the people. So are these. I uh, just wanted to show these off. Go check out your local leagues, guys, and get yourself some really cool Pokemon cards. Just to pause for a second. Here's some more cards there, just to say. Uh, these were uh, Electro Powers. Um, they were the previous promo. 
Uh, Mysterious Treasures, also very useful cards. I think a reverse holo regular Mysterious Treasure, not the alternate art with the promo here, but a regular one was going for like $3. We give these out to the people who come to the league. There's also these league challenges where you can get these uh, trophy cards that go first to fourth place. Uh, very neat. Um, yep, just get those things there. Uh, you get all types of cool ones, metal frying pans, I mean, they just give us tons. Some of them are rotated out, unfortunately, because these, uh, these reprints are a little bit newer. Um, and the card, they keep their original, they have these alternate art, they keep the original uh, format date, which this was from uh, Guardians Rising, and that's since rotated out. But still, very useful cards for Expanded. Here's the netballs. I was giving out some of the extras to people at the pre-release, telling them to come to the club, check out their stuff. Okay, cool stuff. So there's my little spiel about checking out your local leagues for cool promo cards. Another thing I'd like to check out is these little mini packs. They're called Trade and Play Day Kits. Uh, they give these out at EB Games, or I think it's called GameStop in the United States, but we call it EB Games in Canada. Uh, you can, I don't think they, the name went over well, so we just kind of kept it for the original chain, but they're the same thing, basically. Uh, whenever a new site comes out, they give they have these little played and trade days where uh, you guys can come in, uh, open up some packs and trade cards. Make It's kind of like a league, but like a store type league. They were trying to do these for a while. Anyways, I was given uh, one and also my friend gave me one. So we got two of these, just gonna crack open them, show what you get. Okay. I've seen these before. What you get is uh, a little paper activity. Spot the difference. Okay. Not every Pokemon in Kanto is what they seem, only a well expert. Uh, okay, I better get this right. How do I? Not every Pokemon in Kanto is what it seems. Only a regional expert can tell the subtle differences between the Pokemon. See if you can spot a real Pokemon and look for the changes to save appendages and facial expressions. Okay. Uh, that's not supposed to be white. That is off. It's, I don't think it's not the ridges. Not missing the tail. So I guess four would have been the correct one. And let's see, we got a little answer here. Four is the real Vaporeon. Okay, yeah, there you go. I get to keep my professor license because I uh, can tell the difference there. Okay, uh, get ourselves a little how to trade card breakdown. The paper's all bent and crumpled, unfortunately. This one seems really dinged up. But basically it says, hey, you should try to trade for cards of similar rarity and shape and size. Uh, Pokemon EXs for EXs, GXs for GXs, breaks for breaks, rarities, stars for that, full arts for full arts. Do a good trade, guys. Also, if you go to a Pokemon League, uh, ask the Pokemon professor there, they'll tell you if it's a good trade or not. So we get these sells, these little free card blister packs, otherwise known as, uh, give me a second, Dollar Tree packs here in Canada. Oh, there's also one more thing in there, one second there. A coin. And we get ourselves a Litten coin. There's a little Litten coin, cool. I'm gonna crack this one open, it's gonna have another little play test, sorry, a little game in there. There you go, here's how to do a trade. Uh, what we have here, some kind of First partner Pokemon. Let's start at the start. Can you identify these first partner Pokemon from their silhouettes? Um, one of these three will join you at the start of your journey throughout Kanto. Uh, we have ourselves a Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Cool. I hope that they... So one of the new things for Pokemon Leagues is they're offering this thing called a Pokemon Club aimed at newer trainers. The idea is I think they're supposed to be making some printouts similar to this and make a few little mini games to teach kids how to play. I think that's really cool because being the Pokemon professor, I actually like to do some kind of teaching plan for the kids. Uh, so I think this is a very neat little trick that they're going to be doing. I hope that works out. I'll keep uh, posted and I'll, if everything comes up with that, I'll tell you guys more then. So we get ourselves a Garchomp coin. Very cool. Nice little golden Garchomp. Very cool. Okay. And we get ourselves another pack. And this one is a Sun and Moon base set. Okay. Right, so we get ourselves a Lost Thunder and a base set. A little free card pack. We'll crack into these. You gotta be careful though, since they're so thin, there's only three cards in them, they get very flimsy and you can actually damage the cards. So we'll just kinda do the uh, seal like this, okay? Comes with a little advertisement card saying check out the apps or local league and whatnot. And you get yourself free cards, not guaranteed a rare or anything too crazy. You get yourself a crushing hammer, very useful card. A Corbomital, that's a rare, cool. And a Morlo. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good pack. A nice item card, a nice trainer card. A real player knows that trainer cards are a must-have. Like, they're the bread and butter of a set. Okay, we got ourselves a little Lost Wonder pack here. Some kid uh, pulled a uh, Pre-Marina uh, EGX there from uh, their Sun and Moon base set pack. Oh, yeah, we get ourselves a Nuzzler. Neat. We get ourselves a Dedenne with the Nuzzle. 
Uh, flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and nuzzle shot. This attack does 10 more damage for each Pokemon in play that has the nuzzle attack to one of your opponent's Pokemon, bench Pokemon. Very cool. I'm actually trying to build a nuzzle deck that is a cheap little deck for my league. It'll be the lightning one that if you just want to go try a lightning deck, go check out that nuzzle deck. Okay, give yourselves a Cyndaquil and an energy card. So just about uh, two uncommons and an energy card, which I guess is like a common card as well. All right, we'll set that aside. Very neat. Check out your local game stores. Um, you can probably ask if they have one of these in the back if you really wanted one, just a trade and play day kit. And they might say no, but they might say, yeah, we can go find you one. So that'd be kind of neat. All right, so now we're the bread and butter of this opening is we have ourselves this Grookey uh, Galar collection box. We have these new little rainbow arts to the Pokemon. That's kind of neat. Kind of pixelated or line that reminds me of the black and white era. Also, there's a little pinup here, a jumbo of Zycan in the back. They left out his typing and a bunch of the information because they're trying to keep some of the stuff secret until the actual cards get released. And we got ourselves some packs, which I think there might be an evolutions in there, so that'd be kind of neat. Um, let's take a look at the back here for a second there. Grookey, Galar collection. Grookey and friends are here from Galar. Uh, the green growing ready for battle. Grookey is an amazing grass type partner, itching for their, to explore the Galar region. Uh, let's see, uh, get ahead with the start, get free promo cards, a pin, Four booster packs and a giant card. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna crack the open from the side. This come up to about, um, typically it's like $30 Canadian, but I got a deal on it since I'm the professor. So I'll just crack this open. Plus they had like a 25% off thing. I'll just open it up right here, just it's a little tall. All right. I like the colors there, that's some nice coloring on the box. Just a nice green, nice brown. Makes me look at nice wooden trees. Come on, Grookey Gang. Okay, so we got ourselves some promos here. Ooh, how are you gonna do this? I'll be keeping the code cards since this is a very unique species thing, but I'll give out the code cards for all the rest of the items there. So this one's gonna be spent, guys, by me. Sorry, not sorry, but you know, fun promos. Okay, so we start off with the best starter here. For Grass Energy and the Colorless, we have Branch Poke for 30 damage, cool. Uh, very interesting how they're doing these new, um, borders for it. They have these kind of like a white border around the energy cost and uh, I noticed that there's a little letter here like a D. Now I think uh, the Pokemon Japanese side uh, they kind of use like certain blocks like A, B, C, and D blocks so maybe that's how they're going to be doing it for us as well on our cards. That way we can kind of, that way we can look at an English card and know if it's currently being used for like World Streamers. Okay let's keep going. We got ourselves a Grookey. I noticed something that I'm not a big fan of actually. If you notice here there's like this yellow uh, Border at the bottom, it says uh, 2019 Pokemon Nintendo Creatures Incorporated Game Freak. Uh, that's neat and all, but I don't like how it kind of just pops out of the border like that. I wish that would have been up here. Just a little critique. Okay, right, we have this little flavor text here. When it uses its special stick to strike up a beat, the sound waves produce and carry revitalizing energy to plants and flowers in the area. Oh, that's very cool. I'd like them in my house there to help make everything grow better in my house. I have like a lot of house plans. Okay, we have ourselves a Swabble. Okay, just put that one nice and careful. Very neat, 70 HP. Uh, has two attacks, Pound and Water Gun, very typical attacks. When scared, this Pokemon cries. Its tears have the chemical punch of a hundred onions. Oh my gosh, that's horrifying. And uh, attackers won't be able to uh, resist the wheat. That is just crazy. He just cries and it smells like a hundred Onions? Ugh, yeah, powerful and onions? That's that's crazy. Okay. And we have ourselves Score Bunny, aka Hop Scorch. Uh, we, get, so we get Flare and Tackle, Neato. A warm up of running around gets the fire energy coursing for this Pokemon's body. Once this happens, it is ready to fight at full power. Yeah, very neat. Kind of like how it like runs so fast it causes the ground to catch fire. Very neat. Okay, so these are our free promos. Okay, get ourselves a little Grookey pin. Very neat, I like that a lot. I'll be probably going on my pack stock very shortly. Nice little Pokeball pattern on the back, very nice quality. Get ourselves a Jumbo Zykin card, that's neat. We get ourselves Zykin V, that's gonna be the new gimmick, is V Pokemon instead of GX and EX Pokemon. Um, they're worth two prize cards. This one is 220 HP, which is incredibly strong. Also has this giant, like, kind of V-shaped corner, that's kind of neat. Uh, similar to the bottom, there's a little bit down there. It has Brave Blade. For 230 damage, during your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. 
Now, it doesn't show off the energy cost because they're trying to keep some of the information hidden for early leaks and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't show the retreat, the weakness, or resistance. They did this before for the Alolan collection with, uh, you know, so Galio and Lunala. That's very neat. Very cool card. Okay, and we get ourselves four packs. We get ourselves an Evolutions pack, Cosmic Eclipse, and an Unbroken Bonds. That's actually, these are some pretty good packs. Uh, this one's a throwback pack. People are still kind of weirded out about getting this because this pack is from like 2016. So it's kind of weird that it keeps showing up in current product in like almost 2020. Okay, set that down, put the plastic off to the side. And since it's one of the first packs, I guess we'll crack into that first. Almost want to keep it sealed, but we'll see if we get something neat. I still have a few cards that I'm missing from uh, Evolutions. So, you know, it'd be nice to pull one of those. Okay, here's a code card. Uh, I think it was four, sorry, Freeland two. So these would be our good cards at the back here. Get ourselves a nice little Charmander, good fighter starter Pokemon, an energy card, a Pikachu, very cool, a Growlithe, a Machop, a Metapod. And Umakuni's the duo is just a secret rare card. It's just a joke card. This guy made a bunch of songs for the Japanese Pokemon company. So they decided to honor him by putting him on a bunch of Pokemon cards back in the day and in this set. Get ourselves a Haunter, very cool Pokemon. A reverse tangle growth. Okay, cool. Don't think I actually had one of those. And the rare for the pack is a eradicate. Okay, neat. Set these off to the side. Go for ourselves this unbroken bonds pack. Let's see if we can't get that Reshazard. That'd be nice to get one of those. That'd be crazy. Alright, so we're gonna just crack this open. Here's a code card for you guys. And four to the front. Get us a Safari Energy, a Frog Gadir, a Radon, War Turtle, a Spearow, Lickitung, a Litten, previous fighter starter, a Krabby, a Nether Tangela, a Lickitung Reverse, and the rare for the pack is a Blastethalon. That's actually a really good card. Um, so this card has a little funny gimmick there where you have a bunch of fire energies in your hand. Uh, for, it does 50 damage for every fire energy you discard. Very cool card. This is actually the last Pokemon I needed for a uh, complete Pokemon Sun Moon Pokedex in card form. I have every single Pokemon, and this was the last one I needed. I think I traded or bought this card for like two bucks worth of value. But yeah, very good. Fun little deck, actually. Baby Blounds is really strong. Here's all a Cosmic Eclipse pack here. Okay. Here's code card. Oh, messing up the finger to get an X and Y pack. Okay. Get ourselves a fire energy, a clay. It says discard the top seven cards in your deck. If any of those cards are item cards, put them into your hand. That seems very reckless. Cricketune with improv performance. Uh, Krillia, a ducklet, Swirlix, a little Grimer, a Slugma, a Jinchow, a reverse Pancham. And the rare for the pack is Narmaldo, which uh, actually was another one of these Pokemon that I actually ordered back in the day to complete uh, up to like, I think it was like Gen 3 set. Okay, down to our last pack. Hopefully we get a nice little last pack magic there. Code card for you guys. Four to the front. Psychic Energy. A Beastite. A little Reap. A Jolteon, which is nice because I don't think I actually got this Jolteon yet. Ponyta, Sunskit, a Cosmog, Zedek, Trap Pinch, the Beastite Reverse, very neat, and the rare for the pack is a Megalopunny and Jigglypuff GX Tag Team. Very nice. This is a really strong card. People are trying to tech it into Mew Me decks and various other things. It has a Jumping Balloon. The stack does 60 more damage for each of your opponent's EX and GX Pokemon in play. So this can like hit up to crazy numbers of like, I don't know. 200-ish, 220, let's see, uh, 120, or 20, 60, 60, 120, uh, 180, 240, uh, 300 for five? What if they have six? Then it's like 360, crazy. Really great numbers. Also, we have uh, Puffy Smash GX, sorry, Puffy Smashers GX. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. If this Pokemon has at least four extra energies attached to this thing, this attack does 200 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, that's very neat. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up everything I got today. Our our hits would be the promos, a few reverses that aren't the craziest, um, and these really neat promos with this, I the rainbow effect, kind of like a black and white tinsel. But yeah, very neat. 
here's our cool hits for the day. Thanks for watching my Northern Pokemon videos. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we are going to be streaming on Twitch. Link is in the description below, as I said multiple times. Uh, come say hi. Uh, we're going to do this little naming convention. Wherever we find a wild Pokemon we don't have, um, whoever's in the chat will get to, you know, get the call to what to name it. I might have some opinions. We might make a little vote on it, but I'll take your insight into it, and hopefully we'll name a Pokemon based off you, and uh, we'll keep it in the Pokedex. Try to level it up, make it a good Pokemon at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching our Northern Pokemon Openings. I'll catch y'all next time. My name is Professor Joel. Peace.